Well, it's a okay day as far as temperature. The the wind is a breeze. You know, there's a breeze and that I don't know just makes it a little bit chillier than it probably really is. Beautiful day though. Lots of sun, melting the snow still. Still got a lot of snow left. I mean, it's it's patchy, but it's still quite prevalent. Can't let the chickens out because their coop is surrounded by snow. I wanted to come down here and look. I had a wood some wood pile fell over. I put a tarp on it. I guess it did okay. It fell over so before it snowed I put that tarp on it but it looks like it came uncovered a bit. It's still okay I suppose. I don't think it got wet. It looks like everything's drying out. I'm gonna have to bring some more firewood up here pretty soon up to the house because I'm, I'm running low. I was kind of waiting until it completely melted. That way everything would be dry but just not getting there. Boy, there is a ton of deer tracks just everywhere. It's coming up close to the house now. You can see the deer tracks walked up in between the wood pile and the cedar tree there. That's our little path. This is the first time I've been down here. So that's all deer tracks. So I'm gonna come down and feed the chickens. Carolyn didn't make any of that uh, fermented mesh that she makes. I'm uh, just gonna give them some corn today. Try to make them happy. I like, I like trying to keep them somewhat content especially since they're cooped up all the time now because of the, I don't want to let them out I think the neighbor's dog came over but they're really trying to keep that dog pinned up I told you in a couple videos now that we've had their dogs we got some new neighbors and I'm not sure if they're living here permanently or if it's a vacation home but either way they got loose a couple times and uh, the second time they came over in a big hurry and got them so I'm, I'm appreciative that they're really making an effort until they can figure out a more permanent solution. The problem is, is egg production is, is already down. Normally we were getting five eggs and now we're only getting two. And that'll probably just get worse. So it is what it is. I wanted to mention, this is a video, I'm just gonna kind of do a this or that. Someone gave me a piece of advice yesterday I don't want to give too much detail, but the advice was completely wrong. And so instead of telling the guy he was wrong, he didn't know what he was talking about, just being mean, I thought I would... <laughs> the silver one's two-faced. In case anybody cares, she was our kind of got injured when she was younger, and she's the most friendly, I think. So, this guy gave me a piece of advice, he was completely wrong. And instead of me telling him he was wrong and everything, I, I made a joke about it and I said, Yeah, call me a, a crazy loon, or you know, something. I mean, I really made it out that I was a crazy guy that I follow in the owner's manual. And I thought he'd give me an LOL, but he, he was angry. He was angry that I didn't take his advice. I didn't point out that he was wrong. He, he was wrong. He says, uh, this is the reason you're losing subscribers is because you don't take people's advice. Well, I don't understand that. Why would I take his advice? He's a total stranger to me. I don't know him at all. And which piece of advice am I supposed to take? Is it the one that, where they told me that I should jump off a cliff? I'm not really sure I should take that advice. Uh, should I take the piece of advice where they told me I needed to buy a brand new John Deere tractor? I think it was almost $100,000, this tractor. I don't know what scared them. I don't know why I need a $100,000 tractor uh, for an uh, uh, acre and a half. Not sure. Am I supposed to take the advice where they said I'm supposed to leave Carolyn? Because she wouldn't get on a YouTube video? Am I supposed to take the advice that I'm supposed to get off YouTube? So which piece of advice am I supposed to take? Which piece of advice am I not supposed to take? Am I supposed to take the advice of this guy telling me something that is completely wrong and would have cost me a few thousand dollars in repairs if I'd have taken the advice? He was angry, said I, this is why I'm losing subscribers. I don't get it. I don't take advice hardly from anybody without doing thorough research before I do it. And the thing is, is I was being funny. I was putting the blame on me that, you know, I'm sorry, but I'm, I don't know. It just, it seems, the, the world seems a really strange place to me. 
Uh, I don't know if it's the internet world or if it, this is just the way the world has always been. I've had jobs, I've worked with people. It's not like this is new to me, I'm, but it just seems like the world has changed in the last, I don't know, five or six years, dramatically. It seems like, I don't know. I mean, to me, that was a narcissist thing to say. I'm a bad person because I don't take a total stranger's advice. The other thing I wanted to talk about a little bit today is food. Carolyn has started working on the garden, not extensively. I mean, she's just made a, a couple little things. She's progressing along a little bit. She got all her seeds out, she's categorizing them. She's finding out what seeds we're gonna use for the chickens. She listed off a bunch of items, but I was busy and couldn't give her my full attention. But I don't know, she got five or six packages of just food for the chickens. She's just started little compost bins, not compost, that's the wrong word. She's just using the compost to making bins. I, that's a better way to put it. So she's starting to put things together. And I would assume by the first of next month, she'll have seeds growing and in the windowsills. And that's one of the reasons we built the porch with a see-through ceiling because during the late winter, early spring, the trees don't have any leaves on them and it makes for a great greenhouse effect. If it doesn't get below freezing, we just get some frost, then we can use this as our greenhouse that covers the plants. She's also probably gonna start growing lettuce, I'm sure, because lettuce you can grow pretty much year round from my understanding. She's the expert on gardens, not me. Of course, we're starting to get more and more eggs if the dogs would stay away. We went to the Dollar General. I don't know, let's just say we go to Dollar General once a week or so. And when we go, it's, you know, we'd buy um, some, I don't know, vitamins or, you know, whatever it is. Just things we're running low on. Toilet paper, just those things. And then while we're there, we go and get ice cream and pistachios. That's kind of our treat for the week. Uh, we don't do it all the time. It's pretty expensive too. I mean, pistachios is like $4 a package. I get one for me and one for Carolyn. Then we get uh, the ice cream, that's $2 per carton. Now, we, I know somebody's gonna say, why don't you just get ice cream and buy the gallon and put it in the freezer. We don't have a big enough freezer. And it's just once a week. So the last two times we went, so the last two weeks, there has been nobody in the parking lot, nobody. It's very strange that, I mean, we live out here in the country. There's only two stores close by, Dollar General and an old mom and pop grocery store. Well, the mom and pop grocery store usually has everything you need, but they're just so outrageously expensive. It's cheaper to go to Dollar General. And so people go get some staple items, you know, milk and ice cream. Well, you go in there and, and they don't have anything. So the second time I go in, they didn't have our favorite ice cream. Well, they had Carolyn's, they didn't have mine. I had to get Kit Kat or something, which was fine. It's no big deal. And then I got the pistachios, but they didn't even have the salted pistachios. They had the lightly salted pistachios. And ugh, those are not as good, but I went ahead and bought them. So I get up the counter and I said, boy, I didn't know if you were going to be open or not. There's nobody in the parking lot. It looked like you were closed. He says, yeah, we haven't had a truck in here in days. We saw this kind of activity last year during the pandemic or what, two years ago, whatever that was, when they, you know everybody was running out to get toilet paper. Dollar General didn't have hardly anything in the store and nobody was delivering. It, it almost feels like that again. Nobody's going to it because they don't have anything. In order to go get groceries, you either go to that little grocery store that's really expensive, Dollar General, or you drive 30 miles to go to get some food. Well, by the time you drive out there and back, you know, you've wasted a lot of money. You just will go to the little grocery store. Now, I don't know what it is. I mean, is it the trucker rally thing going on to the protests up in Canada? Or is it the, uh, the bad weather? I'm not sure what it is. Is it that the supplies are low? So my point of it is, is Carolyn and I stockpiled our food, not as a prepper, but as more of a, we have a lump sum of food, and so we canned it. And I've been trying to advocate that people start canning more and more. I've been doing this other channel quite a bit and reading the news 
because it's a news channel, it's a comedy news channel. And now they're starting to predict, you know, in the, the article I read today, that the United States truckers are going to start protesting. They're going to drive from California over to Washington, D.C. Well, if they shut that down, you know, if there's no trucks there, and then no trucks in Canada, nobody's crossing the borders, I mean, how serious is this? What I am trying to suggest is go out and get that 59 cents a pound chicken and a canner and some jars and start canning. Not to be prepared, but to save money. That's what we did last summer. We bought all that stuff and here we are, uh, not having to go to the grocery store, but maybe once every couple months don't have to go to Dollar General and when we go to Dollar General and they don't have what we need it's no big deal it really isn't a big deal the other thing is is the chickens have been a big asset to us as you know Carolyn and I have been doing this carnivorous diet and she's been putting eggs almost in every meal I have eggs for lunch now four eggs and then like the other night she made sausage patties it's the best way I can put it and the way she kept it together, of course, she put, put eggs in it like a meatloaf, and they were just these like burgers. But of course, we don't eat bread, so they were just patties. She put spaghetti sauce on it, homemade spaghetti sauce. Oh man, I am telling you, that is just an absolute fantastic meal. The more food we have available on our own self sustaining, not completely self sustaining, but mostly self sustaining place, the better off we are. Anyway, if you'll check out that other channel, I'd really appreciate it. The box right here, the up next box, go ahead and click that. I'd, and to check out the other channel, the comedy channel. So I'd appreciate it. I hope I can inspire you to have everything you need so you can live your dream. Thanks for watching.